Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Sitting here in the tractor, the sprayer, and I thought I'd do a quick separate video on the Trimble Easy Guide 250 GPS. I know I did a video in the past about it, but uh, I just wanted to do a basic field setup uh, video for anybody who might be thinking about getting one of these. Just go over a couple of things with you. I have it mounted here. Uh, it just takes a uh, like a little 12 volt outlet thing. There's another one behind the seat, and that's where I have this one plugged in. So uh, here's your on off button. So we're going to turn this on and uh, let it boot up there for a moment. I haven't used this in a while. So okay, so here's the screen. I hope you can see it okay. If you see in the corner here there is that's supposed to be a symbol for a satellite it's red that means that it's not currently connected to a satellite um, it can take eight ten minutes sometimes for this thing to get connected so uh, that's the first thing we have to do it'll usually go to yellow and then green uh, but so we need to make sure that that goes to green before we start anything so what we'll do here now while we're waiting is we'll get things set up. So I hit the OK button. I hope you can see this OK. So it says create a new field. I haven't actually saved any of my fields. You can and you can download them onto your computer and stuff like that. So we're going to say create a new field. Click on OK. Continue. Now the first number here that comes up this says 38. This is how wide um, of an area are you covering with whatever implement you have back there. So um, right now we're going to change that to 24 because that's the tiny little booms that we have. Whoops. <laughs> I forgot it does that. Okay, so we'll just go up here to 24. Oh, there we go. So 24 foot wide, that's how wide our booms are. So then we press the OK button again. Now it's asking, do you want to overlap? Uh, I'm going to say yes. We're going to do uh, six inches. And that basically just buys me a little uh, leeway uh, as I'm going around the field so that I know if I'm just a little bit off, like I'm not quite overlapping, I know that I probably am, if that makes any sense to you. You could set that at zero if you want. Um, we're going to do a six inch overlap. And we now, this number is the distance from your antenna to your implement. So each implement that you have, um, it's if you're going to use this for quite a few different implements it's best to have like a little notebook and as you take these numbers write down what the implement is and what the distance is so you're not measuring them each time so um, I forget what the heck I had there why that was 180 but uh, we need to do for our current distance now is uh, seven feet. So we're going to change that to, whoops, wrong way. We're going to change that to 84 inches. Oops. Okay. So we've done that. We click the OK button again. Now, uh, this gives you a good example, like if you had a mower or something, you could have an offset, uh, left or right. Our sprayer is directly behind, it's a three-point hitch, so it's connected to the tractor, so it's directly behind us, so our offset is going to be zero. We're going to click OK. Now, there are all different types of maps that you can do here. If you want to do headlands, uh, A to B lines, things like that, um, that, that's completely up to you what you want to do. My fields, I have a few that are sort of rectangle shaped, 
Uh, my favorite, it, well, there's an adaptive curve. That one's pretty cool. Gives you an example there. If there's a little tree and you got to go around it, you can, um, it will keep that offset across the whole field. I'm not really going to go through these. You can. My favorite one is Freeform. Uh, it will basically, you start all the way around the outside edge or whatever you want to do, and it will just copy the shape that you choose, whatever you do. So I like that one. It's easiest for me. We're going to click OK. Do we want to record the boundary? No, we're not recording anything tonight, so we're going to click OK. And uh, there we go. So now you notice that up in the uh, upper left, our little satellite thing has gone green so we know that that is all set so what we need to do now is we need to click um, you can see that the second icon down is highlighted it automatically did that we need to click OK we're gonna come to this side the number two and we're gonna push that and what that is is your you can call it like painting. So what that's going to do is paint the line on the screen. If you forget to hit that and you start going, you will not be able to see where you've been. So don't forget to hit that. And basically that's it. Uh, we're set up, uh, ready to go. As soon as we start moving from this point, um, it'll start recording. It'll put a paint strip on and we just go around in circles and follow it. So. Uh, I will do a future video of actually spraying where you can kind of see that working. So, oops, sorry it's dark in here. I don't even know if you can see me. I think there's a light in here. Hopefully that'll help. Anyway, so, wow, that took seven minutes. It really doesn't take that long in real life. But I, again, I just wanted to do a quick, easy, in-field video. If you've got one of these and you're just getting started with it and, uh, you're, you're just getting used to it. That's a basic setup of how to go through. There's lots of other features and options on there that you can do. Me personally, I like to start with the easy stuff and work my way up uh, to the, the more difficult options or before I start trying the other options to see um, you know, what you can do. Now, if you are recording with this and you intend to um, save your data, and save each field and name it you can actually uh, like if you're going to use this for mowing most people don't but you could um, if you had helpers you know other people that use the tractor if they use the same you know the GPS in each field if you have like an obstacle like say a rock that your disc bind is going to hit and it's hard to see you can mark it on your map as you go through and then the next time somebody uses that and goes through they can watch that map and they know that oh there's an obstacle there so it's kind of cool a lot of stuff the book is there there might be some other videos online but again just wanted to give you a basic one so questions I'll do my best I'm not an electronic guru by any means but I've had the thing for a couple of years I'll do my best to answer any questions you have leave them in the comments down below Please give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, and uh, stick around for a while with the channel, and uh, you'll be able to see this thing in action. So thanks for watching. i got to get going. It's getting late. I'll catch you guys on the next video.